Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to the third episode of The Walking Dead Michonne. We are starting this off today. Boom, just came out. Let's do this thing. It is. It has updated our choices from last time, and unlike War and Rivethead, I made another choice to let Mr. Man live. And uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be a huge deal in the future, but I'm thinking that that might be a huge deal. If choices mean anything, which I'm not <laughs> completely convinced of with the whole Walking Dead series, but we definitely had some Randall should be the one laying interesting in. tense times. Yeah, stupid Randall. Everybody hates Randall. I'm not leaving you behind. But not enough to kill them, dang you it. Start butchering their people. I mean, yeah, enough and to kill them. I just, Any of us. I just didn't want to turn them. into a monster, guys. I didn't want to stoop to their level. So, I didn't kill Randall. That was my decision. They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Yeah, you paid for it, didn't you? Oh, spooky kids. What is it? Just some spooky kids, don't worry. Oh, yeah, that happened. Now that, I don't think I had any decision in. I told him not to, uh, I told him to close the gate. He didn't listen to me. And yes. I didn't kill Randall. That means the dance is over. Your dance is over. I don't know what that means. Cool crushed hands he got there, though, bro. I forgot about that. Your funeral. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. All right, let's get into it. Michonne. Yeah, that's that's not good. That's not good at all. My, my poor little kid is. Are we back on the ship? Oh, two weeks earlier. Okay, we're going back in time. Yup, yep, just sailing in the in the ocean blue under the light of the moon. Oh, we had some good times playing pirates, didn't Hope we? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. What? Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Alright, thanks, man. Not looking forward to that. I just needed some space. So thanks for getting you're gonna need a bigger boat in my face for that. We're gonna need a big oh, Jaws reference. Nice one, man. My ass off. Well, yeah. Zip your coat up, man. Warm you up. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I want some coffee. I'm gonna drink real You'll coffee be glad too. Glad you did. Mmm. Oh yeah, that is actually. Ooh, it's beautiful. <coughs> mm. God damn, Oak. I guess mine's way better. Coffee when more than half's whiskey. <laughs> okay, better in quotations. You sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? What? Oh, no! Birdo, no! <laughs> it was a mutiny! Oh, <laughs> so, so bad. Stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. So bad. Damn, man. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board. But they grow on you. Yeah, we'll see. Those puns are terrible. Like... Mold they are. Nah, no, well, that's sorry, that shit. Nice to say about what your friends. They're growing on me too. Kinda nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Definitely the idiot side. Well. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. Taken? We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. 
ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Wreck them? Only I came out. Hmm. You kind of skipped part of that story there. What happened? <laughs> um, did the right thing. You did the right thing. Yeah, save a little girl, they right? got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete. Ways up the coast. He saw Sad that look story, on my face man. and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions. And you've been, been a, me away. Been a drunken pirate me. ever since. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Oh, Pete. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Yeah. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. No. Besides, uh, none of us can remember well. the rules. So, it'd be the most uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Fine, I'm in. Yeah. Do me in. Let's do Sounds this. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Hey, you, you. Fixing to lose a finger, my friend. And. We're back into the present day, I think. Are you sure you want to do this? You got, a little, to see him. got a little something you on your face, see Randall. That bastard's face. <laughs> It's not pretty, I'll tell you that much. Well, hey there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Sam, stop! <laughs> Easy, <laughs> kick right? Him, kick him good. Jesus! Little help here! All right, Please, all right. I need a hand! Hey! Calm down. Oh, let go of me! Thank you. Why did you stop me? We're not wrecking this you? fool right now. We're better Why than that. Exactly. Him? You should be better than that, Sam. Don't be like him. Or like you? Just stating the obvious here. Hey, I didn't kill you either. <laughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. Yeah, yeah. But you're the one burned down our home. Forced our people on the shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Um. Families. Kids. Yeah. Never did shit to you. Didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up. All the shit they had to leave behind. Ignore him, Michonne. Probably burned beyond recognition now. Gonna be quiet. You did that. I'm not a. That's upset the way you see you, it, man. You're also just being a jerk. He's only trying to piss you off. Exactly. You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. Would be. My dad isn't <laughs> if it wasn't me running this game. Yeah, and you want me to calm down? I I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed. <sighs> yeah. I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Uh yeah, pretty loud and clear actually. Answer me. Now. All right. Let's do this thing. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. I'm right here. Good. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand. Mm. But your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this Dang bitch it. asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. I guess that's what we're doing. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Like from this point on, or are you, do you have a vice handy? Do you I'll have a vice handy? <laughs> Uh, Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. That's my deal, Michonne. 
Just do what she says. That goes both ways. Anything you do to my friends, I'll do to Randall. You better not touch him! There's we'll be there by sunrise. On there. Another... Be ready for us. Yeah, they're close, but how close? Shit. All right. This game, honestly. Like, why don't you, uh... Make your game work before you put it out. <laughs> That's just a thought. I don't know why. Ain't nothing wrong. It's like, just lag for no reason. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I won't dwell on it. So, what do you think's going to happen next? I don't know. <laughs> Probably the theme song. <laughs> After a quick loading screen? How awkward. Oh, boy. Episode 3, What We Deserve. I don't know what we deserve. I don't think we deserve to be wrecked. We've been pretty good trying to keep the peace, trying to keep things on the level. Shot that poor guy in the freaking face last episode, so... I mean, crushed hands, small price to pay for that. All right, Randy. <laughs> what? There's something on my face. Yeah. Hey, I the already said that joke. So bad, right? Yeah, that'll solve it. All right. My God. I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers. Shut up. Maybe it won't matter. This has to work. Keep on hoping if you want. It could be worse, you know. At least he's not dead. Yeah, war. <laughs> we'll get our friends back. Alive. Mm. That's if Norma keeps her word. The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> you all have no idea what, what you're Stupid in. laugh. <sighs> he's right. I hate him. Should have killed him. I have to watch wars and see what happens. Norma's not going to leave us or alone. Rivets, I guess. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. Yeah. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows easy. where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. It's not going to be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. Probably going to have us surrounded anyway. maybe anyways. we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. We need to work this out as a team, guys. Let's just all stay together. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? I'll watch him. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. Don't get yourself killed. Sam! Oh, man. Oh. Old mister. I don't need to close the gate. Sam, stop. You're going to hurt yourself. See? Damn it! Told you. Sam, stop. Just slow down. Take a breath. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> I feel for you, but he was dumb. He didn't we close the gate. My mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. 
Just the two of us. We can he oh, wanna be with We her. can't make it. <sighs> That's I all I can give him. I understand. He should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? What? Sam, you can't still be thinking that... My mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead. But I'm not coming with you. Oh, my goodness. Why? <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. You can't. I know you don't want to, but leaving might be your only option. It isn't safe here anymore. What are you going to do? I know, but I, I can't just give up. We can fight. We can defend this house. Uh, uh, really? No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. You're welcome. Okay, just get this over with. Let's do this. I'm being a nice person this whole playthrough, even if it kills me, which it might. All right. I know it's stupid. But I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. Kay. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Picking up what you're putting down. A duffel bag full of weapons. Ow, oh, dang it. Not again. It's fine. Shake it off. James, what's going on? Hey. Not very observant, are you? I, I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just... Careful. You don't want to shoot yourself. Or me, specifically. <laughs> What else do we got here? Empty. Dang it. It's a sports bag Can of I my help? favorite sports team, the Radioactive Tigers. I want to do something. Yeah, yeah, we'll do sure. this. Go ahead. We might need everybody. Go slide in there. Round side forward. Might need everybody shooting all at once. How could they just die like that? Well, Greg and Dad getting shot I, in the I face. I thought we were safe here. It's a complicated thing. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. You have to be smart. That's how you survive. You have My to... dad was the smartest guy yeah. I knew. He was not. He did that not close him. the gate. He kept it open, staying there with zombies around. The guy who did it. And bandits. It was Killed bad. my dad. Yeah. He's gotta. I mean, the things he said. The way he was laughing about dad. We need to trade him. Can't get away with it. We have to give Randall back to his sister, James. Then we can shoot them all. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Mm -hmm. Sam's hurt. If. If she. They can't hurt her, too. You have to stop them. Sam needs you right now. Go. I guess, yeah. Help her. I mean. They're both gonna get Here. killed out there. Oh, geez, take it. I, I don't know if I'm ready. You know, to have one. Don't forget what I told you. Be smart. Play it smart, and you'll be fine. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Probably should have left him with the gun, but also, I think if we give them the gun, they're just going to go kill Randall immediately. Wish it didn't always come to this. 
Oy. Okay, well. Oh, jeez. Freaking ghosts. Janie, Quit running right around in the house, Hold ghosts. Up. Prisoners are cooperating. What do you want to do? Yeah, we don't have time for this. Get them moving. What? Oh, what? Hand out guns to... Oh, jeez. Could have just given it to Sam that way? Okay. Let's head upstairs and see what's going on up here. Up the spooky stairs. Ah, oh, spooky. Is that? Little music box. Music? Of course. Play with us, Danny. Play with us. Oh, jeez. How creepy is that, yo? Red rum, red rum. I can't reach you. Oh, ho, 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 shivers. All right. A dang business suit. Yo. Can I come in? I like that. It's pretty. Pretty creepy. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. Zombos? As yeah. long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. Wendigo. Wendigo, sweet. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. You need to study some... Do they scare you too? Myth They and make legend. lots of noise. Even at night. Yeah. Everyone Getting scared, scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. Even badasses with cool machetes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? He can't come right now. Yeah. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. Um, I want my dad. Well. I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. <laughs> That's not <laughs> Daddy. what I was going to say. I wish, I it, wish it could go back to... That's too. nicer. I wish it all the time. When Greg... When he... Did he become one of them? Nah, bro. It, it, it's what happens, right? No, no, don't think about things like that. We just need to keep going. That's all we have to do. The rest doesn't matter. Is that what's gonna happen to me? Am no. I gonna die and change into one too? You're gonna live forever. <laughs> Not for a very, very long time. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks. No promises, kid. Checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> All right, they're coming. Thanks for letting me see your fortress. You know that music's just gonna attract <laughs> bad things, right? Okay. We should probably hand out some guns because that's what we're supposed to be doing. Is there anything else in this room I could look at? Spooky noises. Oh, geez. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Uh, is there anything in here? Oh, hey. Back in the bag there. Let's talk to her, I guess. 
Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. What is with everyone Were you able not to talk hearing? Some sense into her? Maybe I'm just super stealthy. Or do you stealthy? still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's... She's not thinking. I'm not gonna stop her from burying her father. You act like I'm doing this to be cruel. I get why she wants to do it, but we just can't. Not with Norma on her way. It's too late for that. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Convince her. You're the only one here who can convince Sam to leave. Talk to her. <sighs> I tried. Try again. She needs to be ready to run. And so do the kids. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them. All right, well, ammo. Here. Norma's coming. All right, where's Pete? Downstairs somewhere. What's in here? Sam's room? Or the kids' room? Let's go back downstairs, I think. Yeah, downstairs, please. I am pretty sneaky, it seems. Pretty sneaky. Alright, where's Pete at? No more see right through this. Give gun. Here, Pete. Thanks. You're welcome. Pete, are you go okay? Just talk to him for a second. This is a mess. Yeah. Can't believe how fucking stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. If I didn't turn us around and lead us here, none of this would have happened. It's not your fault, Pete. You didn't know this would happen. Oak knew. I should have fucking listened. I think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other. But no. No. Nope. They're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. Yeah, people are the worst. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. It doesn't... It doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. I wanted to think there were people worth helping. And now we all have to pay the price for it. Careful, Pete. You're starting to sound like me. <laughs> we just... We have to get my crew back. It's true. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? If Norma's coming for a fight, are we really prepared for that? These kids, they aren't up for this. Norma says she wants to make a deal. And I believe her. We make the trade and get out of here. That's the idea. We'll see how it plays out. Who knows? Who knows? Kids pictures, gra gramophone. The gramophone speaks, guys. All right. All right, Randall. I'm a guest in this house. Where are your manners? Uh, let's take a look at them. Can't get enough, huh? I can't. I just can't get enough. Just can't get enough. Let's talk to him. You know, what's up, pretty boy? My hands hurt a little bit. Yeah, well. You got any ointment lying around? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, well. When Norma gets here, she'll bust down that little gate of yours and tune you up good. Hmm. Just march on in. Majestic as fuck. Yeah, you said. 
don't make it any less true. She really seems like she's just going to be violent. I don't know if there is any way to negotiate out of this. But I guess we've got to try. Yo, you need a weapon? You found the bag. Yeah, here. Thanks. Are the others ready? As ready as we're gonna get. Yeah, where's your little brother? I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. Gotcha. He's in the closet. He should be there for this. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. Yeah. You know, this isn't a great time to have a funeral, right? Okay, just checking. <laughs> Dang it. All right, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Come on back next time. We'll continue with Michonne, Walking Dead, Episode 3. Until then, take it easy. I have an time. Till next time. Peace.